Show you love, show you what a nigga bout Damn, we gon' ride till the wheels fall off We can slide through the city, baby, we can duck off I hate it when we argue, you be like, hey nigga, fuck off But me and you both know we super glue, so we can't fall off Fuck what they speaking on your name, baby, no, it's cool Protect the slide through the city with me, no, I keep a tool Let's wake em up, all these niggas and bitches, yeah, they on snooze Anything you want, purses, clothes, even buy some shoes What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Young Chris, back at it again With a new vid from 901's Five Kicks So, yeah, so check it out I got a review for a new shoe today This particular was a pickup over this past weekend, I was actually going to try to hit the mall or one of these stores or something like that and try to see could, you know, we possibly mess around and get some footage on it, you know, trying to do a pickup on it. Me and my guy run over there, runs reviews or through these eyes, man, shoot, we had it planned out and we were going to link up and do the thing and, you know, try to see about the shoot. But this just sold out like everywhere. In the city, like, before 12, it was gone. You couldn't find it. I mean, it was a wrap. And to me, you know, and what a lot of people thought, this jump was just, it wasn't going to sell like this. So we thought it was going to be something that we are going to be easily be able to get. But, and, and it didn't end up being like this. So ended up having to jump on sneakers real quick. They actually still had my size still in stock. So I went ahead and snatched that joint real quick. So, so we finna do the unboxing and the review of this joint and, you know, kind of see what it's like. Cause I haven't even seen the shoe in hand. So I really don't know none about it except for pictures or other people's videos that I've seen that, that had got them. So, and then definitely, if this is your first time to the channel, definitely please subscribe, like, comment hit that notification bell whatever let's do the thing let's chop it up you know trying to grow this channel trying to get up there and hey we just we, we steady on the rise and then also another thing man shout out to my nephew legit he's the one that i use uh the music for my intros and my outro he's he's my nephew he's on the way up he He's doing big things, you know what I'm saying? Go over there, check out his YouTube page, check out his Instagram. It's legit. I'll probably put it up here in words or something like that, show you a picture or whatnot, but it's L-I-L-J-E-T-T. -T. His last video he dropped is over 110K in views. So that's, and that's just in three, three or four days. So definitely the junk going viral. He doing big things. Y'all need to see what he doing. So, yeah. So, let's go ahead and jump into this inbox, unboxing right now. You got it. Your typical Nike box. Nice little check on the side. As I always saying, it's wonderful advertisement. I just don't think it's the best advertisement, you know, for certain people. These porch pirates, I mean, they looking for the come up. Just steal it tape. I mean... This is this all the signs of somebody's gonna try to steal something. Ooh, I see something nice over there. I gotta go get it. It's a Nike box. We know they got something good up in there. I'm trying to see could I just bust through the tape because tape usually be pretty easy. Yeah. Here we go. Tape off. All right. Box right there. Receipt. Yeah. All that good stuff. So yeah. Nike Nike receipt. You, you see it. Don't want y'all to see none of my information. Don't need nobody trying to run up. And uh nothing like that, because it ain't gonna turn out good for their health. Let's put it like that. Um, so we got an Air Jordan 14 retro. Size 10, personal pair, color is white, black, varsity red, suggested retail, 190 comes in the same box like the uh, the 13s do, and then I, of course I guess it's the old school box for the 14s, whatnot. so there you go the label, 
so y'all can clearly see how it should come when you get your pair flipping the lid okay a major smell. There ain't nothing like them Jordan 1 smell. I can tell you this. That smell of them joints is crazy. <laughs> Gonna put that box down there and show y'all the shoe. Huh. It's a pretty cool color shoe. I mean, it's a Chicago colorway. White and red with a little bit of black in it. I mean... It's pretty cool. I'm not the biggest 14 fan like that. I do enjoy 14s, certain ones of them. This particular one I do like also. I mean, it's a it's nostalgic. It's an OG colorway, so you can't go wrong with it. Um, you got the little Roman numeral 14 in the bottom. Carbon fiber, little plate with the white jump man. This leather on the side is, is stupid plush. I ain't even gonna lie. It is. It feels real good. And it's red. It's straight. The leather all around the toe box. It's, it's pretty good. It's not it's not real stiff. It's, it's pretty soft. So, you got a black jump man up there on the toe box. And then, a little Ferrari like little jump man symbol on the back. I mean, on the side. My bad. And then going to the back, you got another jump man and a 23 on the back of it. And then on the tongue, Jordan in the front in red. Roman numeral 14 on the back. On the insole, you got a white insole with a black jump man. So there ain't nothing special going on in there. It's a pretty cool shoe. I ain't gonna stunt. I mean, the quality, I don't know, it's the last, that, that's the only bad thing about some of the shoes. Like, some of the quality on certain shoes that I've been getting as of late has been kind of hit and miss. And I don't know if that's just how these come or whatnot, but yeah, so I'm jumping in here. I'm finna show y'all some close-up details of certain things about these shoes. And, um, you know, I know I, with hundreds and thousands of shoes being produced, I know everything can't be perfect. But, yeah, just a few, there's a few, like, flaws that I see that's kind of, that's kind of odd. So, looking at the shoes right here right so if you look at the left pair of shoes close up you see a jump man yeah that jump man he's a uh, he's a little portly <laughs> it's like me up there trying to you know what I'm saying maybe make a jump and uh get a dunk or whatever like jordan you know what I'm saying i got a little i got a little extra pounds on me so but then you look at this jump well, this jump man, it looks pretty, pretty much normal, like it should be. But this one, it's just kind of, I don't know, the stitching on this jump man is just kind of, it's bulky and it's just, I don't know, it's just not clean. And then, you look like, and this just might be how they inject the molds and stuff like that. I know everything can't be perfect. But you look at, like, there's, like, little lumps right there where the red is, and it's, like, little lumps in the paint. But, I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, and then I don't know if the camera is actually going to pick up on that effect, but it actually has, like, a sparkle to it. It's a metallic, like, red because it has, like, different little speckles of metallic. And it's, it's popping. I can see it in my eyes. So I don't know if y'all can actually see that. But, um, I mean, other than that, that's the biggest, that's the biggest thing that I see 
far as, you know, the quality of them. Because, I mean, these little lumps there, they're on all the different, you know, little parts where it's painted red. It's the same thing on this other shoe. So, I don't know if that's just part of how the shoe is or, you know, just how the injection mode is. Because I know on the uh, 11s, on the little white part, on the midsole, it's the same way. They got like little lumps here and there. So they just might just be how it is. And then, of course, y'all can see a close look of that majorly soft tumble leather. I mean, it's it's pretty fine. Ferrari 14 Jumpman symbol. Jumpman with a 23 on the back. So, pretty cool shoe. I mean, like I said, nothing's ever going to be perfect. But those are just some of the couple flaws that I just noticed just looking at it, you know. So, just wanted y'all to know that. Yeah, but overall, it's a pretty good shoe. It's just sold out. I mean, if you still really want this shoe, you can get it on StockX. And maybe a couple online retailers like overseas or some of the ones that, that do business here in the States. But, um, and, and it's on StockX or GOAT. There's just barely anything over, over retail. So if you still really want this shoe, it's chances that you can get it. And you can get it for a pretty decent price before they might actually end up shooting up in price. So we're going to see. To me... And I ain't the only person that has said it. I'm thinking it was Scoop 208 that said it. And that they might have been doing something slick and kind of finagling it, you know, acting like it was limited and they might end up doing some type of restock soon because honestly, it just seems like even like if you look on StockX or something like that, it's not a lot, whole lot of shoes that's been sold because usually when a shoe is real hype like that and it sells out quickly, a lot of people be constantly, you know, selling them. And that's like only like about 500 pairs of them been sold on StockX. Sometimes they'll show you how many shoes has actually been sold recently of that particular pair when it was released. And that's pretty low for something like that. So... I don't know. I guess we're we going to see what they're going to end up doing. But we might mess around and actually get a little restock here in a minute. That might be why the prices are still so low. Somebody, somebody in the back, they know a little something, something. Let's put it like that. You know, I don't know how they know it, but like retailers and stuff like that, well, resellers, they be knowing the little slick stuff. So, but yeah. But anyways, so this is my review. This is my thoughts on... The Air Jordan 14 Candy Canes, Rip Hamilton's, you know, Cherries, Chicago's, whatever you want to call them. But cool shoe. If you want them, go on snatch them there. But yeah, so it's your boy Young Chris. This is 9015 Kicks, and I'm out. Peace. So, so, I got two more souls. Dripping sauce, dripping sauce, I be dripping sauce. Two more sauce, two more sauce, I got two more sauce. She like my sauce, like my sauce, she say she like my sauce. I'm making all these plays now, I feel like a young boss. Finna hit them all.